friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw pets in the style of romero brito okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need um something to draw a circle with this is like a um, almost fit two fist inside the circle okay and then i have crayons i have my markers i have half a sheet of paper also i have my whiteboard to show you guys how to um make this fish okay so before we get into the lesson i want you guys to take a look um or i want you guys to learn more about romero brito romero brito is a brazilian painter and sculptor who combines pop art which is art of popular things and culture with a style inspired by picasso and matisse he has a very bold and bright style and began doing art when he was eight years old. Romero Brito is a contemporary artist, meaning he's from our time period. Even though he never went to art school, he became the most licensed artist in history, so there's a good chance you've probably seen his art before. His goal is to bring happiness into his art and to make sure everyone can see and enjoy it. I guess it. now you know more about Romero Brito, right? So now let's try and draw something in his style, okay? So... Uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my circle first this is a fish so the body of the fish is almost like almost a circular shape so i'm going to put this um like little bit to the side because i need space for the uh the tail and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to trace the circle okay the circle is not complete okay now next what we're going to do is i'm going to make a fancy tail so i'm going to make a c like that okay and maybe a c like this okay now i'm going to from here from the middle from the middle distance between this i'm going to make connect like this and then connect it got it okay i know this is super easy or if you don't want a tail like this, if you think uh, drawing a tail like this is difficult, oh, the another style Romero Brito draw this fish tail is two lines coming down like that and then connect it. Easy peasy. So you can choose which uh, one you want to do. Okay. Then next we are going, you can, I'll, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the mouth of the fish the way Romero Brito does. So he draw the mouth. Uh, in two different style one is like this just a curvy line like a mouth that we draw when we are drawing a person right or we can make the fish's mouth you can put it like this to the side and draw a heart okay for the mouth so how do we make a heart so it's like a three, backwards three here in this case, and then connect it with a V. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line like that. So you can make the mouth this way also. Okay. Now, next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, separate his head and the body. So I'm going to draw maybe through the middle of the circle, I'm going to make a C. Now C is this way. Backwards C. Okay. Now let's draw the eyes. Eyes can be drawn like a, it's like a circle. You can have eyes like this. Okay. Or you can draw eyes. You can draw the eyelid. The eyelash coming up like that. Then the eyes okay so that is what he does with the fish and then another thing you guys would have noticed is he um draws some patterns inside the whatever thing he draw right and then he divides that into sections so i'm going to divide a draw a line like this in the middle like that to divide it into section okay uh, if you do the tail this way, you don't have to divide it. If it is a tail this way, maybe you can 
divide it. I made a T here. Got that? Now let's um, draw the background. So the background, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to make a smile like thing. Like that, like that, like that, like that. I'm going to make another line because this is how he does. So I'm just imitating that, okay? If there is not enough space to draw under, you can draw it above. Imitate the same lines. Okay, so after you are done with the background, uh, we need to put in some shapes uh, inside the fish. I will show you guys the shapes and everything we are going to do once uh, we are done drawing this fish on the paper. So next time, one thing I need to remember when I'm going to draw the fish is it's better to put the fish a little bit down so there is more space on top for the uh, the water. Right? So I'm going to put it here. Is this going to be super big? Maybe I will use a smaller lid because it is super big. Maybe one fist is enough. Yeah. Because otherwise there won't be much space for the tail. So this is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to put it like only leaving like a one finger space on the bottom and see that the paper is in the landscape style. Okay. One finger space on the bottom and then I'm going to um, trace this with my pencil in case I need to erase something. Um, you can just put this um, and then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tail, a C and on the bottom like that. And then from here in the middle, I'm putting one thing like this, crown like that, from here, join like that. A fancy tape. Maybe you can draw another line inside like this if you want, because I see that also. Hmm. Okay, so now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw his mouth this way, the easy way. Okay, now let's draw the eyes. So the eyes, even he has done the eyes this way. You can draw the eyes that way if you want. Or you can draw the eyes with the eyelids and lashes or just... Oh, before we draw the eyes, let's... Um, draw this line. Separate the head and the body. Now, now I know where to put the eyes. I'm going to make the eyes a little bit big. Okay. And then maybe like that. And maybe. Okay. I have the eyes. This I'll color this black. This is the eyelid. Now I'm going to make the water. U, U, U. Okay. So the fish is done. And now let's outline the fish with the black marker. Go grab the black marker from your uh, marker box. And then you're going to outline the fish. So he make thick lines. So make the lines thick so that it look nice. I'm making the lines thick. Okay. Okay. This line is too but thick. Let's make his tail also thick lines. You could have drawn the tail the way you want. No, the tail, not the whale. <laughs> what am I saying? 
this doesn't this fish doesn't even look like a whale right and then i'm calling this a whale this is like a teeny tiny fish coloring in the eyes black if you want some other color for the eyes you can use that also the eyelids uh, I'm going to put another color okay then like last oh we do have to divide this in sections right so I'm going to maybe put two lines okay now the water is I'm going to erase up the pencil lines because some of the lines I drew a little bit differently than I drew with the pencil so I need to erase it okay. so next we are going to um, make some patterns on the fish so Romero Brito's fish patterns on the fish the body what he does is he uses uh, I'll just show you some sample on this one and then on my so he uses he uses a lot of polka dots so half you can see the entire uh, circle right on the edge so you can Make it look like half of it is gone like that. Just draw half a, uh, make a C on the side. Maybe in the middle, if there is space, you can draw a full circle. Okay. And then on this side, maybe he also uses lines like this. Okay. Another thing he does is he use another type of shape, maybe triangles if you want you can use hearts okay in this section what we can do is we can just leave it plain maybe and here also we are going to leave it plain okay um this fish doesn't have fins over here or over here so this is how it is okay or you can even add squiggly lines so there are some options right and for the water in the water he has done the same thing he added lines like this so we'll be adding lines okay or maybe we'll add squiggly lines because that will be easy for you guys. Okay. I'm going to put this around. You guys can use a marker to draw the patterns right away. Or you can use um, pencils first and then draw the lines with the oh, line oh, over the lines with the marker. Okay. I'm going to make polka dots. Now, next, what should I make? Maybe here, I'll make some triangles. Maybe here, lines like that. Okay, here, I'm going to make, so the tail, I'm going to just make it C's this direction that direction it's actually polka dots half a polka dots you're seeing okay 
Now for the water, what I'm going to do is I'll use um, my blue crack marker. then I'm going to make some squiggly lines, okay? See that you don't draw on top of your fish. You can continue the squiggly line on the other side. So jump, continue here, jump from here, continue here, jump from here, continue here, Jump from here, continue here. Okay, so we have the water, and up here, we will just leave it like that. Okay, we'll just only color that. So, I'm going to take my markers and color in the polka dots. So you can use any color you want to color your fish. I'm just going to imitate exactly what um, Romero Brito did. He used uh, pink and red for the body. So I'm using pink for the polka dots. This polka dots too. Can we call this a polka dot because it's half a polka dot? I don't know. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to this triangles. The whole face of the fish I'm going to color yellow. Oh, this triangles, let me color with maybe red. If you didn't color, you, you can choose any color you want. Maybe the eyelid, I'm going to color is orange. Orange eyelids, because here yeah, it's going to be yellow. Okay, now let's take, you can either fill in the rest with orange or red space. So maybe, um, I'll use mark crayons. Try and stay within the lines. So this part, uh, we'll put orange. So this part is red. also orange see that you color nicely make it nice and bright the face I'm going to make it yellow 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 See that you stay within the lines, okay? 
we're not coloring the outside the fish's body with yellow don't color the water yellow <laughs> nicely without any white showing and take the light orange and go over this lightly Now let's take um, blue for the water. You're going to take, you can take light blue or blue green. I'm going to take blue green. So this part, we it is going to be white, okay? So don't color that part. do is I'm going to take my blue marker and this is what uh, Romero Britta has done he made some lines in different lines it's like um, sprinkles like small sprinkle it's in different direction put some dots Okay, and then we're going to color that yellow. That's the color he has used. So, maybe I don't know. Is it the sky or it's the background? This is the water, I know that. Maybe it's the sun is setting or something like that. So color in the same direction as much as you can. Color fill properly. And, and then you are done with that. I'm just going to outline everything one more time to make my lines a little bit more thicker. Because... Romero Grito's lines are really thick and you may not be able to outline as um, I'm like just like I'm doing because this is a permanent marker. Permanent marker can go over the crayons so, but you have used the other marker those markers give thick lines right so you are I guess done <laughs> because you have thick lines my lines I didn't like how thick it is I wanted it to be a little bit more thick so I thought why not go over the lines one more time almost there once you're done what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to take a picture of your romero brito work and email me in the email address i'm going to put at the end of my video okay what are the things that you need to put in the we uh in the uh email is you need to put your uh name you need to put your room number you need to put your 
uh, grade and your school name okay so i would like to see how this turned out for you guys and i am sure you guys had a lot of fun making this uh, fish along with me um this was um uh, from romero brito's pet lao um so i hope you had some fun so, so i'm just trying to finish this quickly before i say bye i think i'm almost done doesn't it look better after the outlining think it looks better so till we meet next time bye bye